if you're a J-hook guy and you don't want to use this, then you want to check out this episode of Hack the Fish. All right, guys, I've been working on this project for a while because a lot of people don't use circle hooks. I can use both. I can set both. It's just a different learning curve. But a lot of people use J hooks. And if you're setting a bait clicker and this is standing straight up or on the ground, sometimes by the time you get down to the ground to set that rod, half the time they've let go of it. It's really irritating sometimes. So, today I was at Lowe's and I had some of these old bolt rod holders that my neighbor gave me because he's upgrading the SmackDown rod holders, which good rod holder. These are cheap from Walmart. I think you can get these now for like nine bucks. And I took one inside and it got me thinking. So I've got a bank rod holder for you J hook guys. If you run a clicker, if you run a spinning reel with loose drag, or if you run a spinning reel that has a bait feeder on it, you want to check this build out. Let me see, give you a picture of what all you need. All right, guys, that was a picture of what you need, but you can modify it to however you want it. I really wish I could have find, found some uh, lock washers that wouldn't back out, but they were sold out. I don't know what was going on, but you can modify it to however you want to. All right. Let's get on to building this bank rod holder for J-hooks. First, you want to take this threaded piece of steel. And you want to make sure this, these threads and these threads are the same threads or you'll run into some issues. Next, you can get these at Lowe's. It's a female end on both ends. I think, let me get the receipt out here. For an update of everything, I give $3.58 for this. And I give $3 for two of these. Now first, you want to start I know everybody probably has a nut at home. It's an old nut. You want to put that on first. And all this is going to do is keep the threaded one from moving. You don't want a fish grab hold of your rod and the rod holder starts spinning. That could leave some people getting very, very mad at me. I don't want that. I like sharing ideas, sharing thoughts. Everybody's staying pretty equal. All right. Then you want to thread <coughs> these two ends. It's got female on the side of them. But you want to make sure this gets threaded on more than this. Make sure it's all tight.
Now, most people would say, hey, that's a dumb project. But it's not. Because you have to have something at this bottom right here to keep this from spinning around. So, you want to thread this on it. However deep you think it's going to go. Because some places can be a foot deep and you can still not get a good set. But you don't want your rod to fall out of your rod holder, get hit, get knocked out of the rod holder, or anything like that. And again, I wish they'd had some lock washers because this right here keeps on going around. It would have made things a heck of a lot better. Now, after you get this threaded down here, I know it's going to sound weird. But you need three nails. Now, I wanted my rod holder to be about waist high so I wouldn't have to get all the way on the ground and bend over and possibly take a chance on slipping, losing my balance, falling a lake, or anything like that. But you never know what could happen. When you get together, it should look something like this. Now, we're going to turn the camera around here, and I will show you how to put this in the ground. All right, guys, if you can see, I have took the rod holder off because you don't want to dent these threads up because it'll be harder to put anything else back on it. So, with this right here, You'll want to try to find some place that's hard, but not too hard. Not without rocks or anything. And hammer it in the ground. Alright. There's what it looks like in the ground. Now remember when we said that you're going to need some nails now you want to take these nails and put them where the rod holder screwed in the ground on your boat this way it keeps this from going anywhere All right, I'm going to hammer these in the ground, and I'm going to show you how it works. All right, guys, let's put the rod holder on it. I'll get up here and pull on this a little bit with a clicker, and then I'll show you how sturdy it is if you want to use a circle hook. Like I said, guys, waist high, and that way, if you do have your cooker engaged, you can just grab it, set the hook, or if you are using circle hooks, like most people use in the boats, I believe 
this will hold up to it. Still in the ground. I promised one with a clicker engaged. So let's get that. Seems to work pretty well. Now, I try to do hacks for everybody. I understand when the guys with J-hooks tell me that this is hard to set a J-hook with because if you're rolling straight up and down, you only got one way to jerk, and that's up. If it's vertical, you still got to bend all the way down. If you like some of us older guys, getting all the way down and trying to get back up without falling or stumbling, Gets to be a harder task when you get older. So, I did this for bait running guys, spinning bait running guys, bait caster guys, and it seems to work pretty good. About six bucks if you got the rod holders, and if you're going to upgrade to SmackDown rod holders or something like that, take your old ones and do this with it. Now, if you have an idea, or bait casters or guys that have spinning rods that you want to share or talk to me about, join my Facebook group, Hack the Fish. You talk to me directly, share ideas, share ideas with other people that's in the group. All right, guys, if you made it this far in the video, check out my other videos that'll help you out in your fishing adventures. Till again, this is Hack the Fish, and I hope my ideas help you in your future adventures.